Alrighty, how's it going? And welcome to this, the second part of my Hearthfire series. And in this video, I'll be showing you the mods I use to enhance the Hearthfire manners while still keeping them in law and with a genuine Skyrim feel. All the mod descriptions and links are in the description box below this video. So let's just crack on. Okay, first up, and what we're looking at here, and these are Draco's Hearthfire upgrades by Draco, oddly enough. And they work for Winstab Manor, Lakeview Manor, and Hell Yarkin Hall. And they work with PC, X, Xbox One, and PS4. And they are law friendly and simple upgrades to the Hearthfire homes. Just some, uh, some walls, three guards, basic starter ruins with a lab enchanter and bed and a few other little details here and there and also add a staff enchanter and nine shrines in the cellar. Helyarkin Hall also comes with a Khajiit trader and that's Helyarkin Hall only and it's a handy little trader stroke fence with 1750 gold. And next up we got General Stores SE by Draco and this works for PC and Xbox One. It's an insanely handy mod which offers fast safe storage from anywhere in Skyrim that has auto sorting. This works between the three Hearthfire homes seamlessly. So for example if I go to my family home in Lakeview and store all my loot and ingredients etc. When I go to Helyarkin to do some crafting everything is available uh, available to me there's no more wandering around your homes wondering where you what chest you left that certain something in it's all there in one place and it's never let me down And back down the cellar, we have Hearthfire Shrines Expanded by Degrelescence. Sadly, it's PC only, and it just simply adds the five missing shrines to the Hearthfire homes. That's Oriel, Azura, Boethia, Mephala, and Nocturnal. Okay, and this is a mod I really love. It's Hearthfire Trophy Entryway by Mayania. And this works for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. And this mod simply reconverts the entryway of your Hearthfire home into a trophy room. There are six trophy bases, two large and four small, one safe chest, and six weapon racks. I really like this mod, it works really well. And here we have Hearthfire Greenhouses by Myania again. It's a PC only. Now this is a nice functional and vanilla friendly greenhouse for any wing of any manor with extra displays and uh, for insects in jar etc. Now there are 22 dirt plots ready to use that's uh, another four to the original greenhouses. The mod only adds objects and doesn't add the walls, so you'll have to build the concerned wings and let it uh, uh, leave it unfurnished for the installation. You must build the following mods to work. The kitchen for any east wing, the greenhouse for any west wing, and the trophy room for any north wing. A really, really handy utility mod, this one. And next up we got a brilliant mod, it's Hearthfire Backroom Kitchen by Myania. Now this mod works for all three Hearthfire homes, but PC only sadly, however, I did find different versions that work for Xbox One and PS4 in Lakeview Manor. Sadly I couldn't find anything for the other, con uh, the other homes for console users, users, but this doesn't mean that there aren't, there aren't any out there, it's just that I couldn't find them. Now this mod will turn the messy back room of your Hearthfire home into a nice functional and vanilla friendly kitchen with oven, three safe chests, a butter churn, fish barrels, meat barrels, blah blah blah, 
uh, ingredients, etc., and all the supplies will respawn. And here we got probably my favourite mod of all of them. It's Lakeview Manor Library, which goes in the North Wing storage room, and it's been created by Ice9000. Sadly, this is PC only. It turns the storage room of Lakeview Manor into a library containing uh, shelving space for 572 two books uh, there's only 503 books in total in the game including spell tomes by the way um, but not including journals it adds three large and three small trophy bases and two planters with eight spots for planting And next we got Hearthfire Custom Basements by Thicketford and this works for PC and Xbox One. And this mod will allow you to build up to three additional rooms in a new basement underneath any of the Hearthfire homes. All the rooms are replicas of the original Hearthfire wings and the constraints that you have to build them. It's um, a real shame that the greenhouse mod by Myania didn't actually work with this one because it would have been absolutely fantastic having a three additional greenhouses. But there you go, really handy little mod. And for you grubby little tiddly subscribers, we have Bars for Hearthfire Homes Redone by Red Princess 79 Sadly, PC only. It's a small mod to add bathing rooms to Hoyakin Hall, Lakeview Manor and Woodstead Manor. Whilst it won't wash all your sins away, you will be squeaky clean in your murderous rampages around Tamriel. And another very useful little mod is Lakeview Manor, Manor Mage uh, by Midgatalian. And it's on a PC, Xbox One and PS4. And it's a mage merchant who sells spells, unenchanted staffs, heartstones, soul gems and other bits and bobs you expect from such a merchant. And there's also a training dummy which can cast spells, fire arrows or attack weapons to train those skills up. And another very handy little mod is Hearthfire Traders by Malrama. And as a trader for Hellyarkin Hall, Lakeview Manor and Winstead Manor, uh, it's PC only. The trader will spawn there after you obtain the house. He won't be there before you do. So the actual trader actually lives on the property. He will wander around, sleep and always have nice stuff for you to buy and of course sell. The gold amount is higher than a normal tra tra trader. He owns 3,000 gold, which is about right. And he buys and sells, and sells all items that can be sold to a general merchant. And more of a cosmetic thing, Miguel's Hearthfire Bards SE by Miguel. 130 and it's PC only again I'm afraid it's just a small cosmetic mod to beautify the three Hearthfire Bards and indeed make them marriageable and it replaces Llewellyn with a female Bard called Lulu and another cosmetic uh, uh, mod here and it's a face changer for Lakeview Manor by Migatalian and sadly it's PC only it's just a simple mod that adds a face changer upstairs in Lakeview Manor it allows you to change your face or appearance much like the face sculptor in Riften And a mod I really like, which is Hearthfire Multiple Adoptions by TM Phoenix, PC and Xbox One, sadly not for PS4. Uh, this mod allows the adoption of up to six children. They are fully integrated into the Hearthfire adoption system and should be able to use their default voices. You can also move your family into custom homes, which obviously have been adapted to house uh, a family. I do like this mod. Okay, that's it. These are the mods that I use for Hearthfire specifically, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's given you like a bit of an idea of what you can do with mods, and um, all the descriptions and links are in the descriptive box below this video. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Catch you later. Love you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, 
and hit the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribed, obviously. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. See you later.